All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the set of our Pokemon Omega Ruby Extreme Randomizer. Nuzlocke, like, hopefully you guys are having yourselves a great day today. If you missed the last episode, basically we made our way here to Falabar Town, got some encounters, and that's pretty much it. So if you missed it, go check it out. I highly recommend it. But here we are. We're actually not going to save the game. <laughs> here we are today in Falabar Town. Like I said, the squad is looking clean, pristine, extreme. Adjectives, I brought it back. Y'all wanted me to. I hope, I hope it was good enough. <laughs> I really hope. We got Blanket here, of course. The Braviary Air Cutter, Karate Chop, Disarming Voice, and Power Up Punch. Very and Flying Typing. Pretty clean. This mod has just been awesome the entire time. Then we have Puff Bar, the Weezing here. Electric Type, Parabolic Charge, Thunder Wave, Fury Cutter, and Shock Wave. Then we have Lazy here, the Ludicolo, who I just taught Light of Ruin to. I don't know how I forgot, but... Yeah, we're a fairy type, so it just made so much sense to teach this to Lazy. We got Light of Ruin now, and yes, you guys were right, it's the AZ Floet. Pretty sure that's what it is. AZ Floet's signature move, and you can see it drawing power from the Eternal Flowers. It's got some bars. Yeah, Earth Power, Baton Pass, and Geomancy as well. Then we have Starscream, the Dialga, Struggle Bug, Tail Glow, uh, Smackdown, and Draco Meteor. I totally forgot we taught this, but hell yeah, man, I'm down. Wi-Fi, the Licky Licky, Poison Fang, Air Cutter, Rock Smash, and Acid, Poison and Flying Type, Magma Armor. And last but not least, we have the newest addition to the squad, being Cornball, Psychic and Dragon Type, Leaf Guard, Shadow Punch, uh, Smackdown, Fairy Wind, and Dragon Tail. So that's what the squad is looking like as of now. But before we do anything, before we do anything, first off, if you guys are enjoying this series, drop a like. Your support is greatly, greatly appreciated. 300 likes is the goal for this episode, so if we can hit that, that'd be awesome. And also, guys, I want to tell you we are doing another Emerald stream tomorrow. So if you want to see the next part of the Emerald Randomizer, we got custom textures, custom sprites, every custom Pokemon, all of that. Make sure you guys come to the channel tomorrow at 3 p.m. EST, because we will be streaming then. But what I want to start this episode off with is a quick evolution. Usually what I do for the evolutions is I'll wait till like all of our party is around the level of that Pokemon and then I'll use the rare candies. And our team is like around level 25, which is the level that Temple evolved. So might as well just get this evolution done. And uh, we've been wanting to do this for a while, so hopefully we'll get something fire from it. I really, really hope. I mean, anything is probably going to be better than primordial sea and being a fire type like anything is going to be better than that <laughs> i'm not gonna lie but i just i just want to get some luck here please tim pool bless us please i've been putting a lot of like my uh, old random evolution clips on tiktok so like i've been looking at the past and we've had some crazy luck with our random evolutions obviously for every like good one we have there's three bad ones to like counter it off but we've had some fire evolutions so I'm just hoping that right now is one of those times. I think it's one more level. All right, bagel, please, please. What could a bagel evolve into? Like a bread, toast? I don't know. A toasted bagel? Please. I like in this game how it doesn't like show the sprite immediately. Like you don't get revealed. It does that in Emerald when a Pokemon evolves. All right, come on. Oh, it's another Pokemon that evolves with Leaf Stone. Oh. No, <laughs> that is not good. But it's not bad. Fiery Dance. I'll get rid of Flame Burst. Yo, that's clean. That's actually clean. So what I'm saying, it's another Pokemon that evolves with a Leaf Stone. We have a level five, level five Weeping Bell in our PC right now. Airlock, Fire and Ghost. Yeah, that, okay, so the typing didn't really change that much at all. That's clean, man. It turned into a Chandelure, basically. <laughs> all right, so this is the deal. This is what's going on. Like I said, we have two Pokemon in our PC that both evolve with a Leaf Stone. Right here and right here. I only know of one Leaf Stone location in the game, and that's like south of Forestry. You just gotta surf a little. I don't know. Hopefully, you know what I'm talking about, but I don't know any other Leaf Stone locations. Can you buy them in this game? I don't know. So, genning in a Leaf Stone might have to be something. We can make a rule like once Weeping Bell reaches like level 20, or like once Temple or whatever it evolved into, or Execute really uh, reaches. X level, then then we can send the Leaf Stone in, but we'll have to figure it out. We did get an encounter here already. 
Um, so our next encounter for this episode is gonna be inside. We actually didn't do that, so yeah. We got another sick encounter, and I think after this we just head back to the... Yeah, yeah, we just go top of Mount Chimney, and then it's Flannery. All right, we are making some progress in this game. We really are. I'm just glad it's been easier than Emerald because if you guys are keeping up with the live stream series, but you really should. It's been a great time. But that game is just so hard, man. It is just so hard. And if I had to play that game and then have this game be super hard on top of it, I think I'd be going insane right now. So just thank God this game isn't as hard as that game. I don't want... Yeah, I should probably knock on wood. I really wish my desk was made of wood, man. I can't knock on wood. My dresser's made of wood. Should I get up and go over there <laughs> and knock on it? I remember during the last stream, I was talking about, I was like, damn, like, we're doing really good. And then I said, and we also haven't had a, and I just stopped myself. And I was like, never mind, never mind. I'm not saying it. Everyone in chat was like, don't finish that sentence. Don't say it. Don't. Okay, whenever I see Flail with low HP, I always get scared. All right, I'm gonna heal here. I don't wanna risk missing it again. I really don't. I don't want to lose my Braviary to a Drowsy. That'd be so depressing. All right, he's almost just going to kill himself with hail, though. Who should we use, though? Maybe I should use Cornball. Just for a little bit. I mean, there's not really a point not to. It's a new addition on the team. Let's throw Cornball up there. We have some decent moves. Psychic Dragon's an interesting type, for sure. Do we have a Psychic and Dragon type? Yeah, we do. Latios. Latios. Duh. Duh, every single time I ask a question like that, like, do we have this type? It's either like, I'll think of it immediately after, or I won't think of it, and it's like the most obvious Pokemon of all time. I think one of the ones I always confuse is like, electric grass, electric fire, electric water, not so much that one, but I'm like, who's like electric ice? But it's all the Rotom forms, because they're just weird typings. Like, they'll have electric with them, so yeah, it's... Memorizing those Rotom typings really screws me up, but obviously I know all of them. It's just like pulling them out from a hat in my mind, basically. All right, what's up, buddy? If you're not prepared, you shouldn't be up in the mountains. That's actually a really good piece of advice. I've seen a lot of rock climbing videos recently of like, not even like rock climbing, like the free range rock climbing, like what cool people do. I don't even do that. Like, <laughs> like I'm t all these people are badasses. Like they climb just giant mountains basically not even rocks there's like nothing to hang on to they just have like their belay right that's what it's called it's what it's called i don't know i don't know any rock climbing lingo or anything like that ah okay, i didn't do that much thank god <laughs> thank god actually shadow up was in a lot more than i thought so but we got a physical cornball on our hands physical bio plume you love to see it you love to see it Let's see what should i go for dragon tail let me just try a Shadow Punch first. Just try one of these. Yeah, I'm just gonna get out of here. <laughs> Honestly, it'll probably make it easier. I wanna go for a Light of Ruin. Cause I just wanna see what the battle, or not the battle animation, the move animation looks like. I have no idea. Let's see. I just gotta hit it though. I think I gave him the wide lens, so we should be all right. That looks sick. And it did nothing, but it still looked cool. It still looked cool. All right, um, I feel like I should swap. This is a little sketch now. Or do I stay in and go for Earth Power? Because he's probably a Steel type. The plays! The plays! I've actually got the plays. See, sometimes you just gotta roll with it. You just gotta take the roll, roll the die. Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you don't. Struggle Bug? Dude, why, are, why am I trying to learn Struggle Bug right now? We're level 24. We are way past that, dude. Way past that. Also, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, there is a fight in the cave in this game, right? Yeah, there is. I think we were just talking about this, because we did this part, like, maybe in the last stream or whatever, but... Yeah, there's actually, like, a cutscene here, and I'm pretty sure a battle, too. Which is definitely how it should have been, like, always. Doesn't really make sense for this area to not have, like, a boss fight. Like, you... You pull up on two teams, like, I don't know. Let's just use Starscream and, sure, Cornball. Starscream and Cornball. Maybe we'd only get one side of the battlefield, though. Maybe we only get one. Either way, let's get our encounter real quick. I think this is a Moonstone. Full heal. Oh, no, the Moonstone's on the other side, that's right. 
But I see there's Hone Edge, there's Geodude in here. Okay. Please, something godlike, something godlike. A swirl, like, dude, that's a trade evolution. Ugh, what is this? What is this, man? What is this? There's a possibility it's not trade, and that they took out all the trade evolutions in this game. So I won't talk trash yet. I'll have to hit up Matt, because I have absolutely no idea. But if I can evolve this, then no problem. No problem at all. But if not, that really sucks. That's just basically a wasted encounter. There we go. All right. Swirlix was caught. Hell yeah, man. So what are we gonna name this? I'm gonna name it Sweets, probably. Sweets. Unless it's claimed. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure Swirlix isn't claimed. Let me check though. Of course, if you don't know what I'm talking about, all members on the channel have the opportunity to claim an entire evolution line to be nicknamed after them. So let's say you become a member, um, any tier by the way, the lowest tier is like $2 I think, but you become a member and then you get in the Discord, which is in the description below, you'll get like your role and stuff, like, you just gotta link your Discord to your YouTube basically. No one has this, but yeah. If you do want your chance, you just do that and then you tell me what evolution line you want to be claimed, I'll put you on our little Google spreadsheet thing, and then whenever we catch that Pokemon, it's nicknamed after you. Boom. Boom. I don't know, that's a little fun way to do it. I like it. I like naming my Pokemon after people. Whenever I catch a Pokemon and someone has it claimed, I always just like love it 10 times more. Cause it's like, not only is it special to me, it's special to them. Isn't this amusing? Is it really your intention to oppose me? A team magma admin, just the two of you. Very well then, I'll show you how terrifying adults can be. I'm going to give you some, oh, I thought, oh my God, dude. What, why is he so like, <laughs> dude, they need to give Tabitha some new lines. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna show you what adults do. Yeah, you've been a bad kid. I'm like, chill. Chill. Just chill. Chandelure and a Slurpuff? Okay. Oh my god. A Cheruby? Oh, this is gonna be a long battle. This is gonna be a long battle. I can tell. All right. Cheruby, oh, really, that's the best you could do, is a Cheruby. I am so upset right now. There's actually no way. That might be worse than the, Dragon Breath, worse than the Magikarp Hop had that one time. I could, <laughs> I could have believed that as well. This is almost just as bad. I'm going for Tail though. I don't care, because this way I can just Draco Meteor everything. Nothing will matter. Nothing will matter. Get Dracoed. Get Dracoed, kid. Oh wait, no, he's probably a fairy. He's going for Crafty Shield. I should have known. I should have guessed that. All right, I'll just go for this then. It hits both? How does it hit both? Damn. All right, I'll take it. I will definitely take it. Cornball 24, Venom Shock. It's honestly better than SmackDown right now. Like, we're a special attack, we're not a physical. Damn, this dude has three Pokemon on this side? Holy crap, there's just one and three? Good job, Cherry. You know what, I take it back. At least Cherry B's attacking. At least. At least. Damn, I'm still plus three and that did less than half. Like, that's why I'm... That's a little weird, don't you? See, I know that when you go for a move that hits both targets, it weakens the power of the move, but it's only still hitting one person still, like, even though it's a spread move, it still only hits one. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I just want to know why that didn't kill. Shroomish, that should kill though, right? Oh, thanks, Miltank. I appreciate it. All right, never mind. Never mind. I was talking trash, but our partner actually had some decent stuff. Decent stuff, I will say. There we go. How many Pokemon does he have left? Charge Beam. Uh, yes. Get rid of Smackdown, probably. Right? Yeah. I know we're a Rock type, but still, like... Eevee. Oh, no, this dude probably has six Pokemon, right? I mean... It... I feel like that he's had more than three. 
Because the Pokeball things had four Pokemon, so it'd have to be one and three. I'd have no idea what we're talking. Yeah, this dude definitely has six. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. Draco! Yeah, they just can't show seven Pokemon, so obviously, like. Makes sense. Huh? There we go. An unexpected development. We did it, Supra. You children, I would like you to stay out of my way. Team Magma's scientific uh, prowess, Mount Chimney's energy, and the hidden power of the meteorite. If we combine them all, a super ancient Pokemon. Bwahaha, you lost to the Scramp. What a pathetic bunch. You lazy stooges will be the downfall of Team Magma. Damn. Who's there? Hey. Ah. Yeah. Hey, Archie. Archie. Oh, I'm Archie. Yeah, I'm coming. Mm. I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't know. I have no idea. I think I might have just been like, yeah, that was not. <laughs> it was not dancing. It was not dancing for sure. The odds do not appear, uh, appear to be in my favor. You there. I'll have the meteorite now. Yes, sir. What? What? Hand over the meteorite. What if he actually just jumped in the water right there? The meteorite is in the palm of my hand. Adios to each and every one of you. Uh, at long last, I'm off to Mount Chimney. Ugh. Archie, we will go after those monsters. That's right, we're not letting them get away. Oh no, oh no, I didn't do anything. Leave me alone, sir. Oh, what's this? You've got quite a fierce expression on you with such a wee little thing. The name's Archie. I'm the leader of Team Aqua, a group that works to return the world to a pristine state. One that will be perfect for Pokemon survival. Looks like you were getting, uh, wait. Looks like you were getting into it with Team Magma there. Uh, unless, unless my eyes deceive me. It's not like I'm in a position to argue if that's what you're up to, hey? But I'll tell you this, so remember. If you get in, uh, or if you next get in the way of Team Aqua, you won't get off so lightly. So steer clear and keep your nose clean. Scramp. Blah ha ha I love when they add the blah ha ha ha's. Well, that's that. Oh, brother. I have no idea what's going on anymore with all these people. Are you okay? But, but I only... Looks like he's still pretty out of it. Yeah, he's in shock, dude. This dude just got, like, kidnapped and... Professor, easy. I think we go back to his house, right? Yeah. All right, cool. Well, that's Meteor Falls. Pretty much all that needs to be done there. <laughs> like I said, I think there's a Moonstone, but it's all good. Ah, oh, Professor. Thank the stars above, Professor, you're back. Thanks to these children, I have somehow returned. Those nuts back there. What did you think they were hoping to do with the professor's meteorite? From the look of it, they seem like they're kind of bad guys, but we've got to be careful. Though I'm not worried a bit if it's you and your team, Supra. But I need to thank you as well. You truly saved me from disaster. I hope you'll take this TM. Really, man? Attract? I'm insulted. So she takes us back to Mauville. We've arrived in Mauville City. Go up ahead to Mount Chimney. Yes, I know. Don't worry. I got you. I got you. So, yes, yeah, so we'll make our way to Mount Chimney. Do I need to heal, though? Yeah, I should. Should probably heal. Maybe buy some potions, too. Not really a reason to not. Not really. But, yo, we got Flannery coming up. Okay, so the fourth gym leader. Dude, I'm just excited. I want to see, like, what the other people have in the Marts. You know, like, the second guy. This is, like, the only one we've really had so far, right? Or maybe Slateport? Did I just miss it? I don't know. We get six and then some more great balls yay we have no money dude i need to do some crazy like is there a verse seeker in this game like how do i grind for money this i can cheat <laughs> i gotta sell a bunch of rare candies boom but hold on i just want to check and see will we get an encounter from these come on we got one it's a horsey all right, well, I'll still catch it. So this is our static encounter for the rocks. I guess we'll just label it that. I don't really know what else to call it. Static rock encounter. Oh my god, of course. Of course. Of course. It's fine. Let me just go for this great ball. We should be all right. Like, this, there's no way there's a hard Pokemon to catch. Yeah, I think it evolves, like, decently soon in Asedra, right? So you know what? Not bad. Not bad at all. What shall we name it, though? That is the real question. Horsey. Um, I like to name these Mystery after um, the seahorse in SpongeBob. 
We snore. The green one, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. They should have made a custom texture for Horsey that looks like mystery. That would be so sick. That would actually be so cool. Alright, full heal. Let's use this on the poison real quick. Okay, alright. Let's make our way up to the top of Mount Chimney. I don't know if we're going to be clearing out all of Mount Chimney today. I just know that's, you know, where I want to go. Oh my god. Of course, homie wants to battle me now. Galatian. All right, Cornball. I think after this, I might put Cornball on the back, because although it's nice to use the new Pokemon, but Cornball is just not the best in the world. I'm going to be honest. Like, Vileplume doesn't suck. It's just the moves that we have right now are not, like, great. If we had stab moves that were special, if I had, like, Psychic, this mod would be legendary, but I don't. So, it's not legendary. Um, Let's go to Blanket here. I don't know how I want to kill a Munchlax. These mods are pretty bulky. Right? Let's see. Never mind. I mean, I get we're level 26, but damn! Okay, just killed. Straight up. I was giving me an item, I think. Come on. The Sacred Ash. All right. Interesting. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's an item out here. I never noticed this. The guard spec. Cool. I'm pretty sure they added that in this game, right? Like, there's no way that's always been there. There's actually no way. Also, I do not remember at all what this scene looks like. I, did, I remember the music, though. Very iconic music for, like, scaling the mountain. Perfect. Alright, wait, hold on. Come on, this guy has to give me an item or something. Has to. I know something. Oh, they're also twins. Cool. That's amazing, that's amazing. You love to see it. You absolutely just love to see it. Well, here we are on Mount Chimney. Like I said, I don't have like the intention of clearing it all out today. I think that is more something that we'll probably start the next episode off with, clearing out Mount Chimney. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say, thank you guys so much for watching. That's where we're gonna wrap up today's episode. If you enjoyed, like I said, drop a like. Your support is greatly appreciated. 300 likes, if we could hit that, that'd be awesome. And then hopefully I'll get you guys another episode on Sunday. I've been trying to do every other day with this series, so we'll see. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace out.